I'm over here, John. Well, I know, but I gotta, I gotta see what's happening. Now he's gonna load her up. Now you have to shut the blower down when you, yeah, when you, when you put the wood in. Oh! <laughs> There's some serious, serious energy right there. Soaking her right up. A lot of BTUs. A lot of BTUs. No, there's always this, always one that doesn't want to go in this way. And he puts the blower back on. Now that, there's what, the sap is right above that? Right in there, yeah. But it works its way down depending on when it dumps the syrup. When it dumps syrup, more sap comes in. Oh, I see. We cook it to the density that we want it to automatically yep. dump into the, into the uh, pan. When that green number gets to, when the red number gets to 20.3, it'll automatically open the valve and dump. I see, I see. Excellent, excellent. This is a traditional wood, wood fired evaporator. Traditional in the sense that most uh, evaporators purchased today are all oil fired because of the efficiency level. This particular one has a piggyback unit on it, which means we're using the, the, the preheated steam to heat, the, to heat the sap coming in. So it gives us a little extra uh, production capacity. This particular break will produce somewhere in the vicinity of 8 to 10 gallons. The evaporator is sized according to the number of taps or trees that you plan on tapping. On this particular farm, at this time, we're servicing about 2,000 taps, about 1,000 uh, on buckets, which you saw lining the hill when you drove up here. We have about another 1,000 behind the sugar house, all interconnected with a uh, vacuum and pipeline system. We go to a central tank, and then we pump that, and we bring it up here. We uh, bring the sap up from down back on a trailer in a plastic tank we pump it into. We bring the trailer into here, and then we pump it up to the holding tank up top, Oh, and that's where it runs down into the evaporator. Which is what's right which inside. Is what is this that makes the maple syrup? Right inside the window. Yep, that's right inside.